Hey everyone, Mr. O'Brien here. Um, today we're going to do a little experiment. I want you to take a look at some of the things that I have here and maybe you can take a guess and try to figure out what we're going to be doing. So I have some food coloring here. I chose neon. You can choose regular if you want. Uh, some dish soap. Whatever you have at home is fine. And we have some milk here. Whole milk works best, but if you don't have whole milk, you can use other kinds. So, think a minute and see if you can figure out what we're going to be doing today. Okay, now that you've thought about it, if you answered making magic milk, then you would be correct. Alright, so, magic milk. You need some sort of a container. Um, ideally, clear is best. And so what you're going to do, you're going to take your milk. You're going to pour some in, just enough to cover the bottom of the container, like that. All right. Then I'm going to put it down. I'm going to get my food coloring out. So like I said, I chose the neon, but you can choose whatever kind of food coloring you want or whatever you happen to have at home. So you can take your food coloring, you start with one color, put a few drops wherever you want in the milk. All right, put my few drops, cap back on, gonna go to my next color here, which is pink, neon pink, which is pretty cool. Now I've got myself some neon green here, got some here, want to come in a little bit closer, take a look at what's going on in the milk here. All right, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of different colors and drops all over. All right, so we're going to do this experiment today two different times. I'll show you two different ways to do it. So the last step, if you thought to yourself, we're going to put the soap in, then you were right. So what's going to happen? Come on in a little bit closer. So we're going to take a drop of soap. And when I put the drop of soap on there, I want you to try to guess what might happen. Okay, are you thinking about it? All right, so here we go in three, two, one. Whoa, look at that. Look at all those colors swirl. Really is magic milk. All right. And the colors will swirl together. And that's how you make magic milk. All right. Well, I hope you have a fun time making your magic milk. All right. We can do a little bit more, kind of swirl it around. If you got a brush or a stick, you can do that. Kind of play with it, do whatever you like. Maybe add a little bit more soap to see if you get a little bit more swirl, or if you don't get a little bit more swirl. Try to swirl it through. All right. All right, come back in a minute, and I'm going to show you the other way that you can have fun while making magic milk. Um. Hey everyone, I'm back. So here's our second experiment with magic milk. So what are you going to do this time? Is you're going to do the same thing. You take your milk and this time you can use uh, two containers if you have it. Put your milk in, just enough to line the bottom there and to the other side as well, just enough to line the bottom. All right. So, now what you can do is you're going to need some cookie cutters. I didn't actually have cookie cutters, so I'm going to use what I have at home, which are pancake uh, makers. So, what you do, you put your uh, maker in the milk down, or your cookie cutter down, so that it's flat. Okay, and mine are Star Wars, obviously. So I'm going to put Yoda in here, nice and flat. I got Darth Vader there. And we're going to put our Stormtrooper right here. So we've got our either cookie cutters or whatever you have really that can kind of make different shapes. Um, and then we're going to take our food coloring again. So Yoda obviously is going to have a little bit of green because, well, it's Yoda. Put a couple of drops here, one drop here. All right. And then I'm going to do a little bit of blue for our stormtrooper here. 
Alright. And then for Darth Vader, we'll go for purple. A little purple. Alright. So, now, I want you to ask yourself the question. Do you think the same thing is going to happen as last time when we put the soap into the milk mixture with the food coloring. If you think so, put your thumbs up. If you don't think so, put your thumbs down. All right? So, if you bring the camera in here a little bit closer, we're gonna start off with Yoda and see what happens when we add a little bit of the soap. Whoa! So with Yoda, it fills up and now it's kind of leaking out and making all the rest that cool kind of swirled magic milk. All right, let's see Darth Vader happen. Woo, look at that swirl for Darth Vader. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna try our Stormtrooper last. Wow, Stormtrooper's got a lot of swirl happen in there. Alright, so like I said, you can use whatever you have at home. Uh, cookie cutters. I use pancake makers. You could use other shapes if you have to. Alright. And let's kind of see what kind of happens here as we mix it around. In the milk. Oh, let's bring the camera over here. can look and see what's happening. The blue has kind of come on out of the holder and it is now infiltrating the rest of the milk. It's kind of cool. Look at that reaction we got going on there. Let's see if we can get some purple into the mix here. Well, the purple kind of wants to stay in its own area and the blue is just everywhere. But I hope you enjoy making this magic milk and that you have a fun time alright and if you have any questions or comments please leave them and let us know how you liked making that magic milk alright thanks very much everyone for joining me I really liked making magic milk with you today bye bye